Yet another rapid identification phase has taken place for Cyclone Freddy, now a mid-range Category 4 on the Taffer Simpson scale, currently located at 15.2 degrees south, 86.7 degrees east, and is moving off towards the due west right now at around 14 miles per hour. The latest information on this storm right now is it's got 1 minute sustained winds of 145 miles per hour, that's 10 minute winds of, of 125 kilometers, uh, miles per hour, and a, and a pressure of 939 millibars. As I said, we're moving west right now, due west, at 14 miles per hour. So this whirly storm is located right now in the middle of nowhere with a mainly southeastern dominant wind field. Really a very small storm has to be said uh, for this region. Uh, wind field is standing mainly on the southern side as I just said. Right now the distances from the cities are as follows. 1555 from Port Maruthrin, uh, 1936 from Grand Ballet, 1939 from Port Louis, 2078 from St. Denis, and 2464 on Tomasina, the last one being on Madagascar. No watches or warnings are in effect, but the storm is likely to push off towards the west, and watches or warnings are likely to come into effect pretty soon. This storm poses a significant threat to uh, Reunion, Reunion, Mauritius, Rodrigues, and Madagascar. All of the island nations in the vicinity of this storm towards the west need to watch out for the storm very closely. So this is what we're seeing right now for the intensity estimates. Pretty certain that this is now a mid-range Category 4. Uh, maybe even intensifying up towards the 150 miles per hour. We'll have to wait and see on what the satellite estimates say later on. But this is still an, an intensifying storm, perhaps rapid at, at this time. The latest forecast cone on Freddy uh, calls for a peak of 155 miles per hour in the next 12 to 24 hours. The storm could become a very rare Category 5 for this for this time of year and for this track uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours. We'll have to wait and see on that. But it is worth noting that from what I've seen. There's been very discussion on this, but the, but the official ruling goes as such. No storm has ever formed just off the coast of Western Australia and has gone all the way over to Mozambique. No storm has done that in history. Leon and got close though. So what these temperatures are looking like right now underneath the storm, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. They're a little bit favorable for additional development and they're going to be like this around, maybe even a little bit higher as it goes off towards the west. So these are not going to be an issue for the storm over the next five days and beyond, believe it or not. This is what the HWRF is depicting for the next five days. No, pretty much no change in intensity right now. Hopefully behind on the intensity forecast though. Rainfall not going to be an issue for the next five days, but you can see they're getting close to those island nations off towards the west. Keep an eye on this storm very closely if you're in those locations. So this is what the RAM diagnostic plot is saying for the storm right now. JGWC think that this storm could get up towards 150 miles per hour today. We'll have to wait and see on that though. Wind shear is going to be hit or miss. Uh, it's mainly going to be in the upper levels that wind shear is going to be an issue. Sea surface temperatures are not going to be an issue for this storm right now, at least in the near term, in the next five days. I should say even beyond that actually. Uh, relative humidity is a little bit low, but this storm is an annular storm, so it's going to be a little bit more resilient to those kind of conditions. We'll have to wait and see how the storm evolves for the next five to seven days. So this is what the satellite imagery is showing for the storm right now. Uh, you can see that it's struggling to clear out its eye a little bit. It's got those cloud tops to it that support Category 5 status, but that eye just needs to clear out before it can get towards that status. Will that happen? We'll have to wait and see on that. Um, you know, the storm has plenty of time. It's got more than five days to do whatever it needs to do before it gets, any, before it gets, before it gets even close to land. So we'll have to, we have a lot of time to watch and see what the storm does. Visible imagery is very impressive. Um, a very annular storm is taking sh taking shape right now of Freddy, and we'll have more information on this storm that's back towards off towards the west. If you are in Mauritius, Reunion, um, Rodrigues, and Madagascar, maybe even Mozambique, I would watch the storm very closely, as it's going to be a significant storm uh, for those areas. Not not a single storm has ended up from Western Australia making landfall in Mozambique. We'll have more updates on the storm over the next five to seven days.